welcome to my channel this is my first ever youtube video and today we'll be talking about vitamin d everything you need to know all compressed into this one video basically i'm just gonna be answering some questions that the general public may have about vitamin d question number one what is vitamin d vitamin d is a fat soluble steroid like vitamin that is responsible for the absorption of magnesium, calcium, and phosphate in the body. Without vitamin D, these cannot really be absorbed, and vice versa. Vitamin D is also known as the sunshine vitamin, and is the vitamin that worldwide we are not getting enough of. So moving right along, so what is the perfect level of vitamin D level in the blood? So vitamin D levels, according to most doctors worldwide, should be above 50 Anyway, between 50 and 80 is a sweet spot. Some doctors recommend having it over 80 just to reduce a lot of the risk factors that come along with low vitamin D. One doctor, his name is Dr. Gondry, I think he recommends having it over 100 nanograms per deciliter. He says he's not dead yet and he's been doing it for a while. So on the same topic, how much vitamin D do you take per day? Uh, me personally, I take between anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000. I personally take 10,000 international units a day. I use average person you can take because I'm recovering from a deficiency. But as an average person, you can take up to about 5,000. I use a day that's perfectly fine. That's Next question. Should you mega dose vitamin D? The answer is no. You should try to do it as close as nature. So in nature, you would go out in the sun every day and get your daily dose of vitamin D skin stores vitamin d for times that you don't have access to your sources so the skin is going to store it you have a storage of vitamin d once that store is depleted then there's a problem but you don't need to mega dose those green tablets that the doctors prescribe 50,000 i use once a week i think they do work but Doctors should at least be recommending at least 5,000 I use or 10,000 for about six weeks and we test their patients to see where their vitamin D levels are and taper it down or up based on what the findings are. So moving right along, next question. What are some sources of vitamin D? So basically some sources of vitamin D are sunlight, supplements, fish like salmon, Mushroom have some mushroom. The vitamin D in mushroom is vitamin D2. Not many food sources of vitamin D and it's impossible. So don't start. But you can have them because they're food either way. You know, you understand? It's whatever you feel like eating. So if you're going to have salmon, just know you can eat enough salmon to get your 5,000 international IUs of vitamin D. It's not going to happen. So don't ever get your hopes up there. So what type of vitamin D should you buy? So the type of vitamin D you should buy, it just says vitamin D3 on the bottle. And when you turn around the bottle to the back and you check the ingredients, it should say olive oil or coconut oil. Either one is fine. When it starts saying things like soya bean oil or canola oil or any other oil, please don't. Those are actually inflammatory and it's going to defeat the purpose of taking the vitamin D in the first place. As long as it says vitamin D3 on the bottle and it's made with olive or coconut oil and it's in a gel capsule, yeah. The kind you don't want to take is vitamin D2 in a hard tablet or powder form and that's not gonna be absorbed. It's a fat soluble vitamin, it's in a gel capsule for a reason. All right, next question. I've been taking vitamin D but it's not working. The level's not going up. Why? The reason could be, one, try eating it with a fatty meal so it can be better absorbed. Two, you're not taking the necessary cofactors, cofactor vitamins for the vitamin D to work. So you need to be taking magnesium because magnesium and vitamin D work hand in hand. Without magnesium, you can't really absorb vitamin D and vice versa. Also, you need to be taking vitamin K2 that's going to take the calcium that the vitamin D absorbs from the bloodstream to your bones. Two main factors, magnesium and vitamin K2. Fish oil is another cofactor. 
So vitamin D prevents a host of different ailments such as preventing cancer. Uh, we have other things such as like preventing you from getting sick every time like the cold and flu season come around. Vitamin D is just that vitamin that does kind of everything. Abby Vitamin D is very important all across the board. I think it's something we should all take serious. Doctors are not talking about vitamin D because there's no money in it. It's not a pharmaceutical. So you understand they only promote things that you can get by prescription and they'll never let you know about the secrets of vitamin D. And just so you know, I've been watching stories of persons that has low vitamin D and the common theme across all videos is they felt like dying. The, it's so miserable going through having low vitamin D. Me personally, I felt there was no hope either way because it just felt so debilitating. Last question, not a, med, not a question many of you may have, but it's vitamin D as an immune modulator. Many of you may not know what that is, but it's actually vitamin D controls the entire immune system. For example, if you have an autoimmune disease, you can take vitamin D in some cases to reduce the effects of that autoimmune disease. It actually reduces the inflammation, but you're going to be having to take upwards of 20 to 30,000 IUs a day to have that uh, autoimmune put somewhat back into remission but it's very powerful. So basically it just regulates the immune system, cools down any inflammation, and it can either upregulate an underactive immune system or downregulate a hyperactive immune system, like in the case of an autoimmune disease. Because I'll see you guys until next time.